see you. I am on my way to teach some dance classes. I have the air conditioning going because the car is so hot. So hot. Whew. And I, you just can't sit in your car without any air conditioning in Florida. It's just not a thing. So we've had some crazy things happen. I've had some crazy things happen. They're also not crazy when you put them side by side with like real world issues but they're crazy for us so anyway last night so yesterday I did some baking I've been like baking up a storm lately I've been making those muffins that I showed you in one of my vlogs I've been making those muffins so often they're so easy and they're so delicious and I just love the idea of getting to like having a base because that muffin mix is oatmeal and then getting to add whatever you want to it so anyway I'm making muffins yesterday and we have all of this like really cute bakeware from Anthropology that we got for like either like, my bridal shower, for our wedding, and it all matches, it's all really cute. The problem with Anthropology stuff is that it comes and then it goes. And we've had this issue before with like dishes breaking or mugs. You can never really find exactly the same thing, which is great because it makes you feel like you had something unique, but then when it breaks, it breaks. And sort of done with. So anyway, we have these um, set of measuring spoons from Anthropology that are so pretty. We have a set that matches, the measuring spoons match the measuring cups. We have platters that match. We have, like, it, it's this whole thing. Anyway, so I was baking and I put the measuring spoons in the sink because I wanted to wash them or remember to put them in the dishwasher. Anyway, they're in the sink. Hour or two goes by. My husband is like doing dishes or something and I hear him turn on the trash compactor. Is that what it's called? The, the garbage disposal? Is that the same thing? I, I don't think a trash compactor is the same as a garbage disposal. It's the garbage disposal in the sink. I've never had one before in my life. Like I never had one at my house like growing up. Like we didn't have one in the city. Like this is a new thing to, for me at least. Anyway, he turns it on. The darn measuring spoons fell. He didn't see them. Obviously, he wouldn't have turned on the like disposal if he he saw them. But they had fallen. Somehow, they fell into the sink and they fell into and like under the like little guard we have for the disposal because he didn't see them. He thought like the water was backing up. He thought that the like that there was spinach or something stuck in it. So when he turned it on, we heard like this horrible noise. Darn measuring spoons. They, that blade tore them up and that's insane. Like they were thick, beautiful measuring spoons, like ceramic measuring spoons. That blade, oh my goodness. It was so, I was so sad. I mean, first and foremost, I was happy that, you know, it wasn't anything too crazy. The blades were fine. Like, obviously, like, he started sticking his hands down the sink to, like, take the shards out or take the pieces of the measuring spoons out. And, you know, thankfully he didn't hurt himself because, like, that gave me, like, a little heart attack because I don't want him sticking his hand down where the blades are. But can you even believe it? And I couldn't believe that the blade, like, both of us were just so surprised at how the blade was able to just, like, tear up so that was that and then this weekend I don't know if you notice I'm at a traffic stop so I feel like I can show you but um so my nails like are painted and whatever but this weekend they all broke so I had I, if you go back like a few vlogs or whatever ago you'll see my nails were really long and my like they were feeling really strong and you know my nails go through phases between either being like feeling really strong and like growing really well and then just not they all seem to break over the weekend doing one thing or another and I wasn't even doing anything crazy but I feel like when one nail breaks they all break um, when one nail breaks they all break and so they all broke and now they're so short but I painted them Mom, Mamba, I want to say, by Essie. I've been using the Mineral Fusion 
brand top coat and base coat and if you use them with se polishes oh my goodness it stays on your nails like nothing i've ever tried before it's amazing it's almost like a gel you know it almost like has the same effect as a gel nail polish we started the series stranger things i saw out of the corner of my eye my phone like do this weird thing Sometimes it just likes to shift and move. Um, so we started Stranger Things on Netflix yesterday. And we, we watched the first four episodes. And what, you know, I'm going to use the word. What a strange show. What a strange concept. And it's riveting, but in the weirdest way. Like, sorry, the lighting is, like, so crazy. It's so bright. And it's towards the end of, like, it's, e it's almost evening. And so there's, like, a lot of clouds. Anyway. Um, what was the thing? Oh, there are parts of it, and I don't want to give away spoilers, but there are parts of it that I'm just like, oh, I don't think I like this. It's reminiscent of other series, other shows, other movies I've seen. And I'm just like, mm, I'm not sure I like this. I'm not sure, like, how, I don't know, not into it, I guess. But then there's another, like, there's a flip side the other side of the coin is like there are aspects of it that are really cool and interesting and mysterious and all the actors are great so part of me is like oh well I kind of like it's kind of well, it's one of those series where you're like I want to watch it and I want to know what's going on but at the same time I hope it's not predictable which if I don't think it will be because it's there's such a great cast and creative and you know I think I think television has become very smart. Not all television shows, but a lot of television shows have, have become very smart in their storytelling. And a lot of people have like raved about it, so I don't think it would it would take like the predictable path. It's so interesting though, very, very interesting. Um, so I would recommend it. Obviously I haven't watched the whole thing, but there's only eight episodes, which if you have like a free Saturday and it's pouring outside and you wanna stay in bed, Sorry, I thought I heard something. Um, speaking of Stranger Things, if you want to stay in bed like all day, I would definitely, I'd binge watch it. But, just like, just so you know, it is very spooky. It's like a little scary. So, I don't know, if you get spooked out easily or if, like supernatural things scary. I wouldn't even say supernatural. I would just say if you get spooked out easily, like monster or scary things, maybe not the show for you or like at least watch it with someone else. Watch it with roommates or partner or something and watch during the daytime. Surprisingly, I, I wasn't too scared last night because I do get spooked out easily, but I was okay. I was all right. Hey guys, it's a lot later than usual. Like trying to catch the sun. Um, but yeah, I got a little caught up at work, so it's a bit later than usual. Ooh, okay, can't fit there. Um, I'm so thirsty. I want to kick myself in the butt because I always do this. I always, always do this. I always fill up my water bottle and then leave it at home. And that's so frustrating because I get so thirsty because I'm like... It, teaching kids for those of you who don't know I teach kids dance teaching kids you're talking the whole time you're talking you're talking you're talking and I get so thirsty uh, okay um and I didn't have any water today so I'm like so parched but it's so my fault I do that every single week and I think what it is is I I'm carrying I took my uh, purple lululemon bag with me today instead of my I was like bring in my Louis Vuitton bag but like who brings like I don't need to bring a Louis Vuitton bag to like teach dance classes for kids like it makes no sense so I was bringing my Louis Vuitton at my I literally just said the wrong thing I brought my Lululemon bag but my Lululemon bag is weird because it opens but in, in terms of like weight distribution if you have too much stuff in it it'll just like fly open which is annoying so I always forget to put my water bottle in it because I like don't like the weight of it in it my, in my bag and the water and the bag's not that big either. Anyway, didn't pack it, which is so frustrating. I always do that. 
and it's almost dark. Ooh, sunset looks beautiful as usual. I think that's everything. I'm just gonna go home. We're gonna have dinner. I need some water. I'm gonna drink so much water. Oh my goodness. And that's it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for hanging in with me. Luckily, I got you guys in before it got too dark. Whoa, so spooky. Oh, okay. There's always like things in the middle of the road. I don't understand. Um, okay, I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching and we'll chat later.